Are you looking for the most durable 4 terabyte M2 drive that you can get and have good value for a nice price, get something good? So here I have listed some options sorted by price. This is pcpartpicker.com. It's very good. And um, you could think, for example, that Crucial P3 is the same as the ones following it, but it's not really like because there's one key piece of data if you're looking for a durable drive that you need to get familiar with. It's terabytes written, short, shortened to TBW. And for example, if we go to Crucial P3, we go to the site, we look for TBW, you find something here, but it doesn't really tell you how much is. And depending on the brand, it's a bit difficult sometimes to find out. In this case, you need to scroll all the way to the top, shop now in one specific model, and then you can find it. And here it's a TBW, so the endurance of the drive of 800 terabytes, which is really, really low. What I did, because it's very kind of unclear, so I was searching for all of these drives and getting the TBW, and that's what's listed here on the, on the, B, on the B column here. And as you can see here, for example, in the case of the Crucial P3, I think if you're like a regular user, maybe it's fine or you're like severely constrained by budget. But for example, at least in my market, this Lexar NM790, it's three bucks more expensive and it's 3000 terabytes written, which is like insane because this if you think of it in terms of like um, like multiples, like how many times can you write the whole drive until it kicks the bucket? So in this case, if you have a four terabyte drive and it's an 800 TBW, that means that you can write it 200 times over. But for three bucks more, you can write it 750 times more. You know, it's like, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy that you can have at the same price range, maybe there's like a different technology there in the background that makes it different, but that is like crazy to me. So this is not going to be a video to tell you, hey, you need to buy this hard drive or anything. This is just telling you, hey, this is um, TBW is a very important measure, like a metric that you need to pay attention to because it that's how much like typically it's like five years of warranty depends on the brand n or 800 for example in the case of the crucial p3 it's gonna be a number of years or if you exceed the tbw so 800 and this is really low and if you're like a regular user you're casual you don't care about this then whatever you don't care about longevity you don't care about durability endurance then this is probably fine for you like i've spent for example one year gaming and, and such and I have one of these drives, this KC3000, and I haven't even <laughs> hit 1% of this total. But I think it's something good to have. If you're the type of person that buys something and you want it to last many builds in the future, like not only the current one that you have, but also the ones in the future, why not? If it's a perfectly valuable and, and useful drive and it's fast and all these M2 drives, there's a lot of difference in terms of speed. So I suggest you use this list to narrow it down first. Like for example, if you want to spend the very least amount of money possible, then probably go for something like this. Even something like this will be better than this crucial P3 in terms of durability. But I suggest you do your due diligence. You search for reviews and they will tell you they will compare it even between different drives and so on so i think it's it's very good that first you filter through this list and you say hey what is something that is for example in terms of pricing what is something that has a respectable tbw and once you have that and you create a short list let's say i don't know top three options top five options then you research those in more detail in terms of speed and and and, and so on but in general, I think M2 drives, these are, I think it's mixed, a mix between PC, IE4 and version 3, which have different speeds and different um, specs and so on. But I think for my purposes, the most important thing is durability. And if you're like, I have two tabs here. One is by price. So at the top, you have sorted by the cheapest. 
and as you go down it's more expensive and then you have sorted by tbw let me hide this the other options for other sizes because that's not really something we're tackling in this video but for example you can see here that like an sn700 from western digital the red model has a tbw of 5100 terabytes that's like that's a lot that's a lot and not at least in my market not much more expensive than the other options but of course there's like a there's a compromise to be made because this is a little bit slower than other options so if you care about speed more than durability then there's like a, some concessions you have to make there for example here the the 530 is has the same durability but it's also really fast but then again this is way more expensive so you have to kind of balance it out you have to Maybe the limiting factor that should come first is like the budget. What's your budget? How much money are you willing to spend? Then uh, what's important to you? Is durability important to you? And do you want the drive to last a long time? Or are you pretty sure that under the five years of warranty, you're going to hit the cap? Then lean more towards, for example, this or this pretty much any option. I think the only bad options here on the list are these Crucial P3 versions, this Corsair, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's just like, basically this video could be summarized in avoid Crucial P3 drives and Corsair and P600 Core XT. That's pretty much it. Everything else, and I've heard also bad things in terms of performance about this and being unreliable, but the rest, I think all across the board, in terms of durability, what's on their specs, it seems reasonable. I think I would lean towards something like this or maybe more towards something I know. I have the one terabyte version of this and I know it works well for me. So maybe I'll get the four terabyte of that. But then maybe you have that. There's like a hundred bucks of difference between this and this. And sure, this has a little bit lower TBW, but hey, maybe it's something that you're willing to, to deal with. You know, you think, hey, this is like, x 800 terabytes extra maybe it's something i don't really care that much about to pay like 50 percent more for my drive you know so then you say hey okay maybe there's like a 30 percent increment here but mm, i'm not willing to to pay for that and i'd rather get the cheaper one with the lower cheaper double but that's just like a decision you have to make by yourself and um yeah i think that's pretty much it i'll put a link down below so you can check it because it's like a pain it's really a pain in the ass every time i'm looking oh i need to buy an ssd soon and i need to start browsing i just did it once i have it for all the different sizes so maybe it's good to mention here that typically how it goes is that it's half of this so it's kind of like proportional to the capacity so you have this lexer one 3000 TBW for the four terabyte model, 1500 for the two terabyte model, and so on and so forth. But as you can see here, it doesn't always scale. So you cannot just assume that, oh, because this is 3000 and well, I want the one terabyte, this is going to be 650. In this case, it's more, it's 1000 because the half of 1500 is less than 1000. In order to drive the point home of how bad the durability of this P3 drives are, this crucial P3 drives have the same for the four terabyte version have the same durability as this two have for the one terabyte version. So it's like really not good. And for a few more bucks, you get have all of these options that have, you know, anywhere between 50% more to almost two, three times more, three or more times the durability. So that's it for me. I'll leave the link down below. Enjoy it. And um, that's it. I hope you get a good drive, that it lasts for a long time and you enjoy it and you fill it up with all sorts of shit. So yeah, that's it for me. Take care. Hope it was useful. Bye-bye.